Hello everyone and welcome to another Bowtail Bow video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how a lighter weight bow can be faster than a heavier weight bow. So stay tuned. All right, so here I got two bows. Here's my uh, Phoenix bow that I've, uh, I have a video about how I made it and why I named it Phoenix. So check that out if you, and here I got another, a new bow that I've just made. This is an Ash bow. Uh, they're relatively the same length. Um, they're 70 inches knock to knock. And uh, well, I think this one's a little longer, like 71, but, um, but the, Ash bow here shoots around uh, 50 pounds at 30 inches, and this U bow here shoots around uh, is a 63, 60 pounds at 30 inches. And I want to show, well, and this Ash bow shoots around 155 feet per second, where this U bow shoots only 140, 144 feet per second. So, what could be causing this? Let's take a look into the force versus displacement curves. And so I'm gonna put them up on my tiller and I'm gonna take the, the, the weight of the bow at each, we'll say, I don't know, every two inches or so. And we'll see how that looks in a force versus the displacement and see where the strength is coming from. Okay, we got Phoenix up on the tiller first. I, thought, I said this is a 60, 63 pound bow. I guess it's not anymore. So it went up to 55.55 at 30 inches. So it's only gonna be about five pounds heavier. Well, I guess we'll check it out and see how the ash bow does now. Fifty-one point one four. All right, I got the numbers now, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put together a, a graph for you so we can check it out. But the Pacific U uh, Phoenix bow ended up being fifty-five point five five pounds at thirty inches, and this Ash bow turned out to be fifty-one pounds at thirty inches. So there's about a four-pound difference, four and a half pounds difference. But the main thing is kind of what I talked about in that last video. It was uh, all to do with the, the deflex and the set of the bow. And uh, this piece of ash has almost none. And this piece of U has a lot. So let's go ahead and show those and see the differences in that. All right, so as you can see along the curve here that the early weight has a lot to do with speed. So Phoenix has a very low early weight, and then it goes a while until about 26 inches before it actually crosses and goes higher than the ash bow. And whereas when you're looking at the ash bow, you can see that early on it starts up high, a good early draw weight, and then it continues linearly and nice and straight and continual until it gets to the final draw weight of about 50, 51 pounds. Now that's good, that's exactly what uh, we want to see in a bow. So Phoenix is kind of an enigma, and I think I'm gonna work on that, and maybe in another video I'll do, I'll make it a reflex deflex bow, but we'll see. But I hope you learned a little bit from this video, showing that that early draw weight is really good for performance of the bow. So make sure to either straighten your bows or to steam bend it out or heat treat the bellies to provide that little extra performance in your bow so they can get that a few extra feet per second and make your performance all that better. As always, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.